Hello, so today we're going to start the superhero self-portraits and then we're going to cut it out and glue it onto newspaper like um, you're in the newspaper and there's a story about a superhero in town. So we're going to start with a white piece of paper and you need to write your name and the day you have art. Day A, day B, day C. I'm going to flip it over and you're going to start with an oval shape near the top of your paper. And you probably just want to kind of sketch this out. You want to draw it pretty big so that your face will fill up the space. And you want to kind of draw an oval that's wider at the top and thinner at the bottom for your chin. And kind of just sketch it out. Get it kind of the shape that you want. And then you want to press hard to make a heavy mark because we're going to be folding our paper and looking through the paper. So we need a dark line to be able to see through to the other side. All right, so this is why we need the dark line because now we're gonna fold this part of the oval up to touch here. We're not folding our paper in half and lining up the top edges. We're looking through the paper. I can slightly see the chin of my drawing and you can kind of see that on the screen there. Here's my chin and here's the top of my head. So they haven't met yet. So I've got to fold this up until the chin and the top of the head meet. So if you look here, this is not folding my paper in half at all. And then I also want to make sure that my paper's not crooked like this. I'm going to pull that over to one side, make sure the chin and the top of the head are lined up, and then I'm going to put a crease there. Now that crease in the middle of the oval tells me where the eyes go. So now I'm going to draw my eyes. They go, the ellipses go above the line and below the line. You don't want to draw your eyes too small, but you also don't want to draw them gigantic, so you kind of have to find a happy medium. It's really hard to draw two things exactly the same, so just do the best that you can. You can see this eye is slightly smaller than that eye, but they're pretty close in size. I'm going to add a circle that touches the top and swings down and may touch the bottom, but doesn't have to, but it should always, the circles, the iris part, the colored part of your eye should always touch the top of the eye. And then you're gonna put the black dot, the pupil. And now you're gonna bring your chin up to your eye line. So you can look through the paper, you can see your eyes on either side, you can see the chin. Make sure that kind of comes up to where the middle of your eyes are and put a little crease there. Open it up and that's where your nose sits. Your nose is right between your eyes and it sits on top of that line. And we're doing a frontal nose, so you start with a short letter U a letter C on one side and a backwards letter C on the other side. And now you need to bring your chin up to your nose to find out where your mouth goes. So let's see, here's my chin. So I'm going to look through my paper and I pulled it up too high. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. End up right where the bottom of my nose is, trying to make sure this paper is straight. And then put a little crease. Now this line is where the bottom of your mouth sits. So the bottom of your nose sits on the last line. On this line, the bottom of your mouth sits here. And your mouth kind of fits between your two pupils. So I always start with my bottom lip. It's kind of a curved line with a straight line. And then the top lip's like a letter M. We need ears. Your ears are located between your eyes and your nose. And you've got your two crease lines there so you know where those go. All right, neck and shoulders. You don't want to make the neck too skinny or too long. So kind of have to find what looks best and then your shoulders curve out horizontally and then off the sides of the paper. Do a curved line at the top for your uh, superhero uniform and then if you have some space down here you can include some sort of emblem. Um, you know how Superman had the Superman emblem on his superhero so I think I'll do kind of a top of a circle. So now I need my eye mask so um, to protect my identity you know but I don't want anybody to know that I'm a superhero by night and a regular person by day so I'm gonna start with a hill here in the middle which kind of goes over the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna draw this opposite line above the eyes so it's like a smile and a frown line right between the eyes and then your eye mask goes around your eyes and over to the side of your face I like to make my eye mask fairly thicker around my eyes and not too thin. So there's that. And now I need to do my hair. So remember this is a self-portrait, so you're not going to draw some crazy hair. You're going to draw the hair that you have. And I kind of part my hair on the side and tuck it between behind my ears. So I'm going to draw that line there. 
So then I need to erase the eye mask behind my hair. And then my hair doesn't sit flat to my head, it sits above my head a little bit. So it goes over my head and down to my chin, my shoulders, because I have long hair. And then I erase the top of my head from my ears all the way over to the other ear. Now if you're a boy, you would kind of draw the same kind of line here, like a uh, zigzag line that goes down an angle and a zigzag line here, but you would bring it to your ear and stop because your hair is shorter. That's what I'm talking about when you're doing um, boy hair, how you kind of just do a zigzag line um, in an upside down V, like starting up high and coming down low to the ears, and then you go above the curve of the head with another zigzag line just to the ears. But since I'm a girl and my hair is longer, I bring it down to my shoulders. So now the next step is to outline with black marker. If you outline, you're going to go back over and erase all your pencil lines. Now you're going to use skin color crayons for your face. Um, try and find a skin color crayon that matches um, close to the skin on your hand. It's not going to be perfect, but something close. And you're going to color your forehead. You're going to color your underneath your eye mask, over your nose, your ears, and you're gonna color over your mouth. If you color your mouth a different color than your skin, then it looks like you have lipstick on. And then your neck. Okay, you might wanna ask a neighbor what color your eyes are, because this is a self-portrait. So you might need to ask if your eyes are blue, green, or brown. And then what color is your hair? So if you don't have pink hair, you shouldn't use pink crayon for your hair. And then you get to decide what color is your superhero uniform. Color neatly and completely. Try not to leave any white except for the background and the whites of the eyes. Now you're gonna cut your self-portrait out and cut on the outside of the black line so that you leave that black permanent line on your portrait. Get a dark colored crayon of some sort and write your name on the newspaper and the day you have art, day A, day B, day C. Flip it over. Flip your portrait over, and your portrait more than likely will be a little bit whiter than your newspaper. And that's okay, um, just don't put glue there. So we're gonna do a frame of glue. Notice how I kind of have it over the newspaper so I can see where I need to do my glue. And I'm gonna do a frame of glue, stay right within the newspaper. So I didn't take my glue line all the way to the edge of my white paper because I know my newspaper isn't as wide. Then you're going to line up the bottom of your portrait with the bottom of your newspaper. I don't want you to leave a gap down here. Push it down, flatten it out, then flip it over and trim your portrait off on the sides. And then the final step that we're going to do for our superhero portrait, the final step is we're going to do an action word. Um, kind of like pow or boom or wham. And um, you're going to draw it in block or bubble letters. You're going to either lightly print out the, name, the word and then do it in bubble letters or black letters, or you can just draw it as is. But you wanna do it kind of small in the middle of the paper. The letters can touch, or they can have a little bit of space between each one. It really depends on how much room you have on your paper. You're gonna outline it with permanent marker. I would like you to erase any pencil lines that might be poking out. And then you're gonna use a colored crayon to color this in. Any color of your choice, you're gonna color in these letters. I think you should color in the letters all the same color, the whole word the same color. If you color each letter in a different color, it's just gonna look like three separate letters next to each other. But, but by coloring all the letters the same color, it looks like a word that goes together. You could also do like an exclamation point. And then you're gonna cut, cut out some sort of action line going around. You could do like a bumpy line all around. I'm gonna do more of a zigzag line all the way around without cutting your word up into pieces. And then you're gonna glue this onto the newspaper. Don't let it cover up your portrait. Glue this onto the newspaper up near the top. And then with your name on the back, you're going to put this on the drawing rack, and there is your finished superhero self-portrait. Good job there.